the rights are going to be determined by exactly what the petitioner is asking for. But typically, uh, especially when you're dealing with somebody who has an alleged incapacity caused by addiction or mental illness, what the petitioner is going to be asking for is the ability to make medical decisions and the ability to make financial decisions, the ability to get access to medical records. So it includes all those things, but within those things, they're going to be given the authority or ask for the authority to maybe send that person to a treatment facility or the ability to contract for the person to make financial decisions for them or control their assets if that person is diluting their assets as a result of the, the underlying cause for the filing of the petition.